in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. The severe weather is starting to quiet down here in Central Texas. The tornado watch has been allowed to expire. Now we're just looking at some flash flood warnings that are still going on here across parts of the area. Here's our exclusive Viper radar. Again, no precipitation in the Waco Temple and Queen area, but up to the north, you see the green box. That is a flash flood warning that is in effect. We've had anywhere between two and at least four inches of rain. Some areas a lot more than that in this spot. That's why the flash flood warnings are still in effect. And then down towards San Saba, we've got a flash flood uh, warning that's in effect for that region as well. With some heavier rainfall. Uh, most of the activity as it pushed off to the east, you can see in La Paz's County falling apart. Once again, on the big picture, showers and thunderstorms well to our north and east out of our viewing area. So central Texas right now, just looking at mainly cloudy skies. But look at some of the rainfall amounts here. Since early this morning, the heaviest around the NS area and then back up to the northeast. But we've got that narrow band of at least two to four inches. There will be some isolated areas that were a little bit more than that, but that goes right down through western McLennan County, down toward Coriel, and then as you work your way down towards San Saba, once again, it jumps into that five to eight inch range, and that's why the flash flood warning is in effect for that area. Now we have a flood watch that goes in effect right now. It runs through 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. That's because we expect another round of showers and storms overnight Saturday into Sunday. But any one of these counties in the green color could see another 1 to 3 inches of rain. The ground, as you know, is already saturated, so it's not going to take much for any flooding to go on. So take a look at our forecast throughout the evening. I think mainly cloudy skies. Temperatures will be in the 60s and 70s by Midnight and by tomorrow morning, mainly cloudy skies, kind of a humid start like we had this morning. As we go throughout the morning, temperatures will start to climb into the uh, upper 70s and lower 80s. By the afternoon, there could be a stray shower here or there, especially west of I-35. But there's the dry line, and out ahead of the dry line, showers and storms will fire up out west and move our way overnight Saturday into Sunday. So we're going to have to keep an eye on the sky here Sunday morning with showers and thunderstorms that roll across our area. And you can see they're moving to the northeast, but more moisture streaming up from the south as well. But any thunderstorm that does develop overnight Saturday into Sunday has the possibility of being strong to severe. Our main threat would be large hail, damaging winds, and also flooding. Flooding is going to be a concern. Remember, we've got that flood watch that's in effect. And by Sunday, mainly in the morning for us, as we see that showers and thunderstorm activity begin to, to move out. But once again, don't let your guard down any time over the weekend. We are looking at the possibility of any storm being strong to severe with large hail and damaging winds. And that heavy rainfall could lead to the flooding. So tonight, just a 30% chance of showers and storms. I do think most of it is starting to really fall apart where it is. We're talking otherwise mostly cloudy skies. 70 degrees will be your low temperature. And then tomorrow, mostly cloudy. Again, a 20% chance of an afternoon shower storm popping up. It'll be a breezy day, too. We're looking at south winds at 20 to 25 miles per hour. Our high hits around 83 degrees. Here's the long range 10 day forecast brought to you by the Alliance Electrical Group. There's that chance of showers and storms that could be strong, especially Sunday morning. 78 degrees will be the high 84 on Monday and next week. We're going to see temperatures at least low to mid 80s for a while. Doesn't mean it's going to rain every day, but there's chances every day that you could possibly see something a little bit cooler by the end of the week. Nighttime lows will be in the 60s to around 70 degrees and then down toward Bryan and College Station. 20% chance tomorrow overnight Saturday into Sunday. We'll watch for chances some stronger storms Sunday morning, especially down around College Station and Bryan. 82 degrees the high and then next week once again between about a 20 and 40% chance of rain, maybe some thunder each day. Doesn't mean you're going to see it. May not even happen. Highs will be in the mid 80s and nighttime lows in the 60s to the lower 70s.